What's good, fam? Bam, it's me, Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and I am here with my Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 11 Confessional Looks Fashion Killer video. Um, this season they haven't really been doing a lot of confessional looks. They've really been keeping it down to like one outfit minimum, <laughs> literally. So let's get straight into these looks. First up, we got CC Winans. <laughs> AKA Sierra, honey, baby, this is a look. It's a lot going on. This gives me country western vibes. This gives me gospel singer vibes. This gives me one of the Clark sisters vibes. Like it's a this is a lot of look. Um, she got a top knot wig with uh her hair flat iron to the back with some little pieces in the front. You know the. I don't understand why girls is wearing this hairstyle with like the little top knot in the top like that. I don't really get it. I don't understand it. But it, it, nonetheless, it looks cute on her. Her makeup is cute. This top, uh, it's very bejeweled. It's very bedazzled. It's a lot. Like this is something that I think I would see Bobby Raitt wear at the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> Child, I, this this is woo Jesus. The color blue is fantastic. I like that it's see through, um, but it's the bedazzles on the collar and on the sleeves just just a lot. Then you got the purple skirt with all the bedazzles and things going on. I know that this outfit probably is very expensive and it's some type of designer look, but it's just a lot going on. It's a lot of look. I think I would have liked the skirt with a different top and I think I would have liked the top without all the jewels and things on it it just I don't know it just it's just way too much for me like this looks like this needs to be on an episode of the old show Nashville so I'm gonna have to give uh Sierra for me a road kill then we have Sierra's ex-husband Eric and he's in this basic blah 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 suit this looks like he's going to work in an office in a cubicle um then he had the nerve to put a white t-shirt on underneath it like he didn't even try to pizzazz it or give it a little oomph this color blends into the background he looks like a real estate agent <laughs> like go sell a house why don't you like he literally looked like a man that just got off work came in the house, put his briefcase down, and about to go lay down on that couch. Like, this does not give me confessional looks vibe. Like, it's so freaking lame and boring. Road kill. Next up is Mama D, and she is giving us televangelist realness. <laughs> she look like she could be one of the Pace sisters' manager, <laughs> her publicist. Uh, it, it's cute on her. You know, this is a dress, I mean, a, a, a suit that a woman of a particular age would wear. It looks really good against her skin tone. I like the cream, um, tone to this look. Um, it nips in her waist. It gives her such a tiny waist. And, you know, judging from where we came from with mama d this is a huge step i mean we all remember season one mama d with them choppy bangs child the hair together she got her makeup done her nails done she don't look like a crackhead she don't look like she belong in the hbo series the corner <laughs> no more she looks nice she really does she don't look like she stink or smell like fried chicken or catfish she actually look like she smell like some white diamonds or some obsidian Session or some Elizabeth Arden or Beyonce's Heat. <laughs> she looked like she smelled like one of them drugstore, you know, perfumes. You know, I'm gonna give Mama D a oof, a fashion killer because it looks nice on her. Loud ass Shakana Joe is up next, and you know this is cute. You know she got a little sleek hairdo, baby hairs touching her eyebrows. Her makeup is cool, you know, typical Vanna White earrings, very throwback. This red lace dress, um, it's cool. You know, it looks like it might be a little bit too tight, 
but it's it's nice nonetheless. It looks like a bridesmaid's dress, you know. I guess the the theme for this confessional look with the ladies was like after five attire, like gowns and that type of nature. Um, this just looks basic. This is like something a little girl would wear to the homecoming or something like that. It's it's not anything that I would have wore or anything I would have put a client in. So I'm gonna give her a fashion fine. Amy Lou, whose real name is Amber Rose, um, hit the confessional look, and she literally looks like she's going to prom. <laughs> she looks like one of the kids going to her senior prom. You know, she got the crinkles in her hair, the half up, half down. She got her chain on, and then this, like, nude, I don't even know what color it is. It's almost like a sickly gray <laughs> kind of color fresh out the ICU child, bedazzled dress with this deep plunging V-neck. I mean, child, the white nails. It's just two worlds colliding together from her head to her breast. It's given, I need an around the way girl. <laughs> and then from her titties down, it's giving Vanna White, let me flip this letter. Like, I, I just don't understand how this came together. The ears, the earrings are giving Claire's. Why does she have her nameplate chain on with a gown? Like, so ghetto. Like, Amy, do better. Roadkill. For what? Scrappy don't look like he smell like mothballs. <laughs> this shirt actually fits him very well. It doesn't look cheap. Um, Even though it's just a simple button up. I like it on him. He does blend into the background, much like Eric, but this fits him very well. He looks like he's lost weight. He looks fit. He looks nice for a change. Even though this is boring AF, there is nothing to this at all. He could literally wear this out the door, going to the movies or going to Applebee's. But nonetheless, he looks nice. Now, am I going to give him a straight up fashion killer? Absolutely no, because there was no effort put into this look. But he looks nice, so I'm going to give him a fashion fine. His soon-to-be ex-wife, The Bam, is next, and she literally looks like a human flamingo. <laughs> like, if you stare at her long enough, you would think that she is a flamingo. Um, her hair is giving very Jackie Kennedy era, you know, vibes. It's giving old lady. Like, I see that she tried to do something very sophisticated, but I think that it's it's way to the left. To the left, to the left. This dress reminds me of something like one of the bachelorettes <laughs> were on The Bachelor. Um, you know, it is not my cup of tea. You know, the, the feathers on the shoulder... I don't know where that thought process came in it to add that as a little pop of something, but it's just like sitting there. It just looked like somebody walked past and just slapped that on her shoulder and just kept walking. <laughs> the pink color is very pretty. It's like a pink corally type of color. Um, you know, they tried to put a little slit in the middle with the, you know, one shoulder. Uh, I, I just, I'm not vibing with it. It's just, it's boring and it's, giving me grandma and it's it, it's just no 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 roadkill now at some point during filming jessica white went and got her boobs done um you know she had typical model breasts small petite really not doing too much and she went and got implants um they're big <laughs> they're quite huge um, this dress, this dress, this dress, th was it made like this? This is what I want to know. Was it actually meant to be worn like this or was this supposed to be the back of the dress and she decided to turn it around because her boobs obviously do not fit. This is the type of dress that is made for a smaller breast woman and it would give fashion. This is kind of giving ratchet you know swarming if you might say so um her boobs look like they are hurting they look like they're about to pop out at any moment um it's just not flattering and like for you to be 
a former supermodel, you know what I'm saying? I would expect more from her fashion wise. Like the hair is I, right. you know, it looked like she could have did that her style herself, child. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. Even in this horrible outfit, she still looks gorgeous. But the window pane <laughs> in the center of this dress just is so unnecessary. And I, you can't tell me that this ain't the back of this dress. Or if this is the front of it, it she shouldn't have worn it because her breasts are just way too big, way too big. Road kill. Much like his boy Scrappy, uh, Safari didn't put much effort into his look either. You know, I don't know if these are like purple and light blue clouds on this shirt. He's literally just wearing a short sleeve button up and a bunch of jewelry. That's literally all this is giving. Um, I don't really understand why they chose this background as the green screen for everybody. Like, why? Why did they choose this couch, coffee table, and chair? <laughs> Nothing about this screams hip hop. Nothing about this background screams uh, love. Like what is going on with this green screen? It is atrocious. Absolute. Like they paid five dollars for this on one of the stock photography sites. Like if y'all don't get y'all life with this background, like this background is so drab, so drab. I'm gonna have to give Safari. A roadkill because this is this is no 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 spice is serving us blue raspberry lemonade <laughs> smurfette realness with this all blue ensemble i get it blue hair is her thing for her you know alter ego spice i get it <sighs> But you're not on stage right now. Like, can you just be grace, your real self? Like, you don't have to do the blue hair all the time. I think that she should learn how to put the hair on for her shows or for a video shoot. But for the show, let's see grace. It don't have to always be spice. However, whoever did her bob, they did a good job. It's, it's done well for her. Um, this dress is just so over the top. It's a lot going on. It's, I don't know what these like handcuff ribbons on her arms are giving. Then you got the sweetheart neckline and you got the sequins all over it. I don't know if she's an extra in Bridgerton or dancing with the stars, but this is a lot of blue, <laughs> a lot of blue child. Uh-uh. Like she looked like a blue mystic or a blue berry vest soda. Like, I, I don't know what's going on with this. It's just a lot of blue. Now, does she look bad? No, she doesn't look bad. But this dress is just so outdated. It's so outdated. Oh, my God. I'm going to give Spice. Oh, I don't even know, y'all. I'm going to give Spice a fashion fine. Erica got a confessional this season and she's giving us this like burnt orange sequined dress with like these choir sleeves and this deep V. She's giving us a bob with some like honey color highlights and some, you know, rhinestone chandelier type earrings. I don't like the earrings at all with this dress. I feel like something more modern could have been done with the earrings. Um, I like that she did do like a bob hairstyle with this um, dress because you want to show off the dress because it has, you know, the power shoulders and all of that. I wish she would have been turned more facing the camera so we could have really got a good view of this. But the dress itself looks really good on her skin tone. Um, it's not something necessarily I would ever wear anything like that, but it looks cute on her. So I'm going to give Erica a fashion killer. Carly Red and her Howard the Duck lips <laughs> is up next. And I must say, Carly slayed this look. Slayed this look. The hair is laid to perfection. Whoever installed her wig did an awesome job. 
the makeup was on point, the contouring, the highlighting, everything. The earrings go with the dress perfectly. They're not too big. They're not too small. They're elegant. They're so chic. And then this beautiful lavender corset style dress, it gives me Dolce & Gabbana type vibes. It's done so well. Her and her glam squad did this. It's current, it's trendy, but it's also something that you can see somebody wearing 10 years from now and it wouldn't look like throwback or anything like that. Carly looks so good. She needs to lay off the fillers, but other than that, she looks great. Fashion killer. Erica Banks hits the confessional. And this is like the best wig style that she had on the show so far this season. It's not over the top. The baby hairs aren't literally touching her eyelashes. <laughs> it's sleek. Um, it's pressed really good. Like she don't need to do all of them baby hairs that look like finger waves, child. Like, oh my goodness. Her makeup is cute. I don't once again understand why she got her chain on with this dress. Like, can y'all learn decorum? Can y'all please? The dress that she wore in her confessional was cool. It wasn't nothing that I'm going to write home to my mama about. It looked like she could have got it from Windsor, <laughs> you know. But it was cute for her. And she didn't look bad. So I'm going to give her a fashion fine. Rashida, honey, finally gave us some Jessica Rabbit tees. I have never seen Rashida this grown up and sexy. I'm loving her updo with the tousled um, tendrils coming down on each side of her face, framing it perfectly, this bold red lip. The body is moisturized. She has on this red sequin dress with the satin gloves. Now, the satin gloves right here look a little cheap, I will say. But on camera on the show, it looks really good in her green screen. She looked great. This was on some Va 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 Voom, Rita Hayworth, Dorothy Dandridge type time. She looked phenomenal. And her titty look, actually looked, you know, decent in this. You know, Rashida used to be a part of the itty bitty titty community, but her breasts are looking really good. Like she looks great, great fashion killer. Yandy is up and she's serving us like some designer women, dynasty, um, Knox Landon, <laughs> bold enough, beautiful uh, type vibes with this look. This looks like something Brooke on Bold and the Beautiful would have wore back in the day so she can get her claws in old boy. Um, it's very, to me, kind of, it gives throwback vibes, but it also gives me Art Deco vibes as well. Um, I would have loved if she would have wore a different hairstyle with this because you can't even really see the details in the top because the hair is once again in the way. She has the typical reality show curls, boring, y'all know I can't stand it, but her makeup looks nice, the jewelry is popping, I just don't like the hair with this dress. The, the hair is totally covering up the whole front of this dress, and I would have loved to see the detail work in it. So for that, I'm going to give Yandy a fashion find. Erica Mena out here wearing somebody's teenager's junior ring dress like why do you have on this skeet dress that you obviously could not fit in the bust area like this gives me blow up doll like only fans type vibes like girl put them up put them up don't bring them out bring them out put them up put them up like girl like any classiness that this could have had went out the window because it does not fit her you know, it got the cutouts on the sides. Then you got your boobs spilling out. I don't like these silver sequins either. They look like they fallen off. <laughs> um, her hair with this outfit ain't giving what she thought it was going to give. It's really flat in the top. Then you got these housewives reality show curls. Then you got on hoop earrings with this, which don't go with the, the whole theme. This backdrop that Love & Hip Hop got, where did y'all get these steals from? They're absolutely horrible. Her makeup, no, everything about this is a frosted flakes mess. <laughs> I don't like it. 
I don't like it at all. Road kill. Chaotic showed up and just said, F it. I'm not even wearing no shirt. I'm just going to wear my jacket and have my chest out. Y'all going to get these abs. <laughs> he got on every chain he owned, child. His new teeth, his new haircut. Um, the, 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 the denim jacket or whatever jacket this is, it's nice. It's a lot of pattern, you know, though. I would have preferred if he wore something else. You know, but he's feeling himself right now. You know, he's in a great, great physical shape right about now. Um, and like I've said many a times, chaotic, chaotic looks great from the neck down. <laughs> His body is on point. But this is just giving me like he the fifth member of Jagged Edge. <laughs> I promise, 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 promise you, babe. Um, I don't like this for a confessional look, however, so I'm going to give him a roll kill. And lastly, we got Rennie Rucci and, you know, she got the housewife curls too, but at least she tried to put a little pizzazz in it with this, um, Christmas tree tinsel that she got in the front of her hair. It's cute. It's different. You know, I've seen a lot of girls doing the little tinsel in their hair now, um, recently, you know, she got on a silver, like, uh, wrap around kind of like choker neck necklace and then this corset style dress um it fits her she looks really nice in it I think she looks pretty she's a really pretty girl um and this was cute it fits her personality it's giving you sex appeal but not over the top it fits well she looks loving hip-hop and she also looks appropriate for the theme of which they were going for. So I'm going to give her a fashion killer. And my fashion killer award for the Love & Hip Hop Atlanta season 11 confessional looks goes to this Carly Duck Lips Red. Yes, ma'am. She did that. Say what you want about Carly, but ever since season one, her hair always be laid and she always could dress. That's one thing you could never take away from Carly. She always stayed current with the fashions. And this look was phenomenal. Fashion killer for sure. And my roadkill award goes to Erica Mena. Everything about this just looks cheap, so cheap. It looked like she got this dress off Fashion Nova. And I love me a Fashion Nova gown. Fashion Nova come with it with the gowns. But this looked like one of the gowns that didn't sell well. <laughs> and like I said, it's ill-fitting. It's way too revealing. The hair don't go with the dress. You got hoop earrings on. It's just, girl, please go sit down. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite and least favorite looks. Let's talk about it. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.